everybody and welcome back to a new video. So I know I haven't done a video in a long, long time, but I am finally back and ready to do one. So today I'm going to be showing you my everyday makeup routine. And this is something that I've actually been doing quite recently. I never usually used to wear makeup nearly every day, but now that it's summer break, I like to look my best. So this is my everyday routine and I hope you like it. So I've already cleansed, toned and moisturized my skin as well as primed. So it's time to move on to the foundation. If I look down, I have a massive mirror down here. You can kind of see the light radiating off it, but I'll try and use a hand mirror. So this is something that I've been loving and I'm talking loving. And that is the, oh, if I can find it in my makeup bag. That is the Rimmel Matte Perfection. And I also like to blend in and mix with a little bit of, makeup bag's a mess, with a little bit of the MAC Studio Flick. So I'm gonna do one pump of this. I'm gonna do another half, about half a pump. And then I'll do just kind of like half a pump of this. Yeah, that. And so I'm just gonna dab it all over my face and blend it out. So now we're moving on to concealer and I'm actually using two concealers today. I'm using the Wake Me Up Underneath My Eyes because it wakes me up and makes me look like I've actually had a hour's sleep. <laughs> and I'm also using the Age Rewind to also use a little bit under my eyes and I'll be mixing them together to use over my face. So I'm actually going to start with the Age Rewind under my eyes. I feel like this one has a little bit more of like a powdery texture and it's a little bit harder to blend out. So I'll put this down before so when I put the Wake Me Up on that'll help blend it out a little bit more. So I'm just going to crank it up and then just draw kind of a triangle underneath my eyes. And now I'm just going to put on some wake me up I'm just doing this time I'm just doing dots with this on the camera this also does look like for me but it's the same skin tone as mine and then I'm gonna again take my beauty blender and buff it all in so now that I've put on all of my concealer I'm going to bake my under eyes with the savvy perfect finish loose powder and I'm just gonna shake that just so some gets in the lid and please don't say there's a bunch in there okay there isn't that much but there is a ton <laughs> um so i'm just gonna dip my beauty blender into there and just pack it on underneath my eye and since i have now baked and brushed the bake away i'm going to set the rest of my face with the mac mineralized skin finish in medium dark so i'm actually going to take this with a real techniques a buffing brush and I'm gonna just pat this and kind of buff it into my skin and this is nice and warm so it's kind of also going to make up for bronzing because I don't really like to bronze so I'm just going to buff that into my face okay so now that I am all powdered up so I don't kind of like oil myself out and go all shiny I'm going to be moving on to some blush and this is the Savvy Classic Classic Blush in Plum and as you can tell it's just a beautiful plum colour. It looks so extreme on camera but I'm talking it's like a nice muted kind of blush and I'm also taking that on a real Techniques contour brush but we're not using it for contour, we're using it for blush. So just patting it on there. Oh, it's very pigmented, so you, a little goes a long way. And you just want to dust that on your cheeks, starting from the apples and kind of brushing up. And since this blush is very pigmented, it sometimes gets a little bit extreme. So I'm just going to take my powder brush and just dab all over it just to kind of mute it down. So now I'm moving on to eyes and I'm going to be taking the Designer Brands Eyeshadow 48 Designer Colors Palette. So I'm going to be taking the fourth one from the edge. So I'm going to be taking this one and just popping that kind of all over my lid to create a nice base. Okay, next, I'm going to be taking this kind of soft shade right here, right on the edge on the second row. And I'm just going to be taking the same brush because this is very like fluffy and it's great for also blending out in the crease. And that is just going to be lightly taken into the crease. And you just want to start right here on the outer and just kind of flick it 
in. You don't want to bring it in and kind of really have a pigmented color in your inner corner. You want to start out here and just lightly flick it in. You want it to be very, very kind of soft. You don't want it to be pigmented. Okay, so now that I just have this light kind of crease color in, it does look really nice on camera, I can say that. I'm actually going to be taking another UBU brush and that is the UBU number 36 and as you can see this is kind of like a little bit of a stubby brush really to get in that outer corner and what you want to do is you want to take a darker shade and put it in the outer corner so I'm going to actually be taking this darker color right here which has been used a plenty and I'm just going to dab my little brush in there tap it off and you want to focus this on the outer V you do not want to bring it in here at all you want to keep it out in this outer V. Now I'm going to be taking just a flat shader brush. You want to take a small flat shader brush. Don't want it to be too extreme, just this little one right here. And I'm going into the Elizabeth Arden palette. Yes, this is Elizabeth Arden. And I am taking this color right here, which is a glisten. And I'm also going to be matching it with Sunset, which is this one. And I'm just going to be taking that on my shader brush, mixing them up, tapping off a little bit. And you just want to put that right on the lid to create a little bit of a shimmer. And I just really, this is what I love, is just a matte crease and a shimmer on the lid. That is literally my everyday eye. Sometimes I will just do concealer on my lid and some mascara, but... Most of the time I love to do this look because it just opens my eyes and really complements my like hazel blue eyes. So I just love it. And yeah, again, repeat on the other side. Okay, so now as you can see, the eyes are just super soft, but there is a little bit of dimension in there. I'm gonna be moving on to mascara and I am taking the Fifth Avenue mascara. I think this is in like blackest black and it's waterproof. I don't know, the label fell off the bottom. So I'm just going to be popping this on my eyelashes. I need my hand mirror and I accidentally closed it. And so now that my mascara is done, I am not going to be doing eyebrows because my eyebrows are actually kind of like, they're not thick, but they're filled in. I don't really have any sparse areas and I feel like if I do my eyebrows, since this, so, this look is very soft and dainty, if I do my eyebrows, they're just going to be like out there and really like, and it's just going to throw the whole look off. So we're going to be moving on to our last, last, last product. I'm dribbling everywhere. And that is lipstick. Yeah, this and is my favorite lipstick ever, and it's the Essence 15 Oh So Matte. And oh, it's just the prettiest matte nude color and... It literally goes with every look and it's just, I love it and I can't, like, I'm, I'm not nearly out of it, but if it ever runs out, I will, like, die. And I don't even know if Essence makes it anymore. But I'm just going to be putting that on my lips. And that is the end of this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, this is just my natural everyday routine. Ugh something on my chin and yeah it's just super duper simple and I absolutely love it so if you guys like to give it a big thumbs up and make sure you hit that subscribe button I love you guys so so much and bye everyone